How's it going guys? We're going to go ahead and take a look at Sophos Home Premium. Now right now I'm using a trial and if you want to download your free 30 day trial I will post a link on the description of the video below and when you go to it just click on free trial here and you're able to try it free for 30 days. Now this is what it looks when you bring it up. Before we get into how it works and everything let's first take a look at uh, the pros and cons according to PC Magazine. So with Sophos Home the pros is it has excellent scores and some hands-on tests, which we'll take a look at those tests here in a bit. Convenient mobile management app. Protects against ransomware, keyloggers, and exploits. Now, some other antivirus programs we were looking at did not protect against ransomware, so that's good that this one does. Remotely it manages up to 10 PCs or Macs. So, wow, you can do up to 10, which is awesome, and it's inexpensive. We'll take a look at the price here in a bit. The cons, limited results from testing labs. Parental control and webcam protection limited. So-so phishing test score. So it doesn't really protect, protect that good against phishing. Advanced features require uncommon tech expertise. Okay. Let's take a look at the, the specs on it. On-demand malware scan, yes. On-access malware scan, yes. Website rating, no. Malicious URL blocking, yes. Phishing protecting, yes. Which it said it was so-so. Behavior-based detection, yes. It does not have a vulnerability scan, and it does not have a firewall. Now, like I've said before, if you're paying for something, make sure it has everything on it. Okay, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at what the lab results from PC Magazine says here. It got a score of 1 here. That is very low, guys. Compared to other ones, and they couldn't test it on their uh, second tester here. But we will look at a, a custom ha uh, hands-on test. But yeah, it got a 1, and then it couldn't test. So let's take a look at why. So it's got few lab results. Researchers at independent antivirus testing labs around the world put products through grueling tests and regularly report on their effectiveness. Closely track reports from our labs. So AV Test Institute, these labs are major operations. So this is the lab that, that did this test. Sophos appears in the latest reports from just one of these labs, which is what we saw a while ago, only one. Uh, they challenge the antivirus product using a capture and replay system that lets them hit each product with the same real-world malware attack. Products can earn certification at levels AAA, AA, A, B, and C. So Sophos took the top score at AAA. That's good certification. In fact, of all tested products, only Norton with AA certification did not reach AAA. So Sophos did reach AAA. That's good, guys. That that that's awesome. I'm gonna give this one a good a good review because of that. But well, we're gonna take a look at it as well. So they had to do a hands-on malware protection, and they say success. It removed this one here. This Trojan jigsaw. It removed a whatever the heck that's called. It removed uh, another one here and uh, another one here. Uh, so they opened up a folder that had malware in it. And Sofa sprang into action immediately, displaying transient pop-ups when it found a threat and when it finished cleaning up a problem. <coughs> so that's pretty good, guys. Let's take a look at the actual program itself. Here, here it is. Now, the way it's set up, I really don't like. When you click on something, for example, if you click on uh, a malware protection here, all these that are enabled, if you click on it, it's going to take you to the dang website. I hate that. I want it to be all in the freaking program, not take you to the same dang website. So here on the website, then you can go ahead and configure all of these. You can configure the antivirus. You can do real-time protection, malicious traffic detection, artificial intelligence that learns what you do, uh, AMSI protection. And you can do a scheduled scan, which I recommend turning this on. And then you can go ahead and set what date, what time you want to schedule a scan. Now, I don't see here, uh, they don't have the option to do it all the time. I think it's only just one time, maybe. It's not reoccurring, I think. Uh, that's crazy. Now, if you want to put an exception to a folder or program that you have, a lot of people do that with uTorrent, you can go ahead and put it here. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Exploits, ransomware. Stops ransomware from encrypting your files, so at least that'll happen. Master boot record protection. Stops ransomware from destroying your storage configuration. Now you can go ahead and do more advanced settings here. All right. 
Let's go to the very beginning. Now let's take a look at web protection, which is the same as here. If you click here, it's going to take you here. So this is where you do all the configuring is on the website itself. So for web protection, make sure you have it on. Download reputation. Use feedback from protected computers to generate a reputation. So it has a lot of cool tools here. Safe online banking. And we have website exceptions if you want to put an exception to a website like Pirate Bay or something. <laughs> all right. Ransomware protection, you can configure it here. We were looking at that a, a, a while ago. Privacy protection, I guess it alerts you on wanted use of your webcam, which happens, guys. Sometimes the hackers do take over your webcam and you don't even notice the red light doesn't even turn on. Malicious traffic, uh, it's all on here. So it's basically just the same thing, just in different parts here. Now, if you want to add a new device, you click here on add new device. Here's the link that you will put on the new device. And then you'll be able to add that device. And what else do we have here? We have a clean function. So scan device. I think it's going to bring up maybe the program and scan. I don't know. But here's the program here. Or the app, which they call it nowadays. Now, what I don't... <laughs> When you go to scan for a for a virus, guys, it's just got a scan button. That's it. Scan. That's it. It doesn't give you the option to do a custom scan or a quick scan or a vulnerability scan. Remember what they said? It does not have a vulnerability scan function. Now, it might have done good in tests, but the, the user friendliness of this app sucks. I do not like the user friendliness of it. And there it goes with the scan. It looks like it might be a quick scan. It's going really fast which I like to call a cheap scan. And what's what, this is another thing with these antivirus apps. When you're doing a scan, I like it when you can go do other things. Let's see if we can. Go to dashboard. Okay. So while it's scanning, we can come to the dashboard. So that's good, guys. All right. Let's look down here. It'll tell you all the activity you've done. I registered the computer. I started a scan, then canceled it. Then I started another one. It's going pretty fast, guys. Now, I can't see the program itself anymore, but okay. All right, well, that's about it. Um, because of the good test scores, because that's usually what I look for, that it has really good test scores, and it had it had really good test scores. As a matter of fact, it got AAA. So it will protect you the best. However, the user-friendliness of this app sucks. It's not really easy for, like I said, it's not really user-friendly. So because of that, I'm going to have to give this app, this app, uh, Sophos Home Premium, I'm going to have to give it maybe a three and a half out of five stars, pushing four stars because it does really well, like I said. I really like to see it actually perform like it says it will. But yeah, three and a half to four stars around there is what I'm going to give this program. And uh, let's see how much it actually costs if we went to go buy it. So if we go to buy it here. Looks like it costs, let's see, one year for $44.99, two years for $74.99, they have a sale going on, or three years, which is, this is the best value, for $104.99. Crap, so they're going to charge you yearly? What happened to the apps where you just pay once, right? But anyway, really easy to pay for it, just right here, if you guys decide to go with it. It will protect your computer. Um, I, I guess I would buy it. But I think there is free antivirus programs out there that can do better. That can do just as good, but they are free is what I mean. But it did good. Oh, look, it already found something. It's probably something like uTorrent or something. But thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Go ahead and comment on the comments section. Let me know how easy it was for you to go through all this. Like I said, it's not very user-friendly. If you don't know much about IT and computers, you're going to be... Uh, having trouble going through all this but it does protect your computer that's why we're giving it three and a half to maybe four stars thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you soon in the next antivirus video